kind of a quintessential Advantex. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is... Wow, this is scuffed. I'm definitely going to wash my hands after this. I'm not joking. I am going to shower after handling this camera. So let me do... That is better. Alright, what is up? Welcome back. Got it here. A big old box of garbage. So it's fitting that this should arrive today as it is uh, the holiday of scares. And let me tell you, I am quite scared. Before you go saying like, oh, you said you wouldn't buy any more stuff. Yes, you are right. Um, here's the thing. Wow, I'm exhausted. When there's 30 pounds of garbage uh, for relatively adequate price, you, you just, you don't think, you go for it. So let me change the camera angle and then we'll go for it. Oh my God, there it is. Make sure to always lift with your back first. Uh, it's very important. So it says part repair film lot. I'm hoping that it's more of the latter, uh, the repair. But let me walk you through my thought process here. Yes, this is a terrible decision. <sighs> but I'd like to sort this out through things that are uh, worthwhile and things that are not. And we'll start off with this absolute winner here, this Minolta Freedom Zoom. This is a giant piece of garbage. Uh, it, it looks completely dusty. It's missing buttons. Uh, I don't even think these worked when they were first produced, so I really doubt that this is working now. So that's gonna be a garbage. And then we have something like this, which is the Minolta. I believe this is a Maxim 7000, missing the battery grip, missing the top, missing a lot of the components that like you would need. Uh, so this would also be. Oh no! Garbage. <clears throat> and then all of the winners are on the top here. Um, this, I believe, is also a Minolta X300S. I've never heard of this. I don't think I want to. Garbage. Um, I'm really speed running this. I apologize because I felt like this would be more uh, interesting content. This is a CP9AF multi program. I think this is. I don't think this is a Minolta. I think this is a Rico. To be honest, I think this is a Rico, but it doesn't work, so garbage. And then we have another GAF LCS. I had the LCM previously. I just sold that for a whopping $5. Uh, the top on this looks okay. The prism looks okay. The rest of the camera is pretty much falling apart, and it's missing the advance mechanism, it's missing the shutter speed selector, it's missing a bunch of, it's garbage, is what that is. Um, I promise there are good things in here, but we just have to get through all of the, the filth. The saying is the cream rises to the top, this is I think the opposite of like the mold rests at the top, you know, and then the cream is kind of sunk to the bottom. Uh, this Vivitar 160Z, uh, I like that it has the features list on the back here. Features a 35 to 52 millimeter with zooming viewfinder. No focusing necessary, quick and easy. This might work. The contacts on this side don't look great, so I'd clean those off. And the contacts back there don't look bad, so this might work. We'll put this in the maybe. Because, you know, I do think, contrary to what pop people might think, little point and shoots are kind of fun. This, however, is not going to be fun. Uh, this is a Nikon AD, the 3528, which is a great uh, version of it because there's the 3535, but the 3528 is a little bit faster. It has better elements and stuff in it. 
This one looks pretty clean and also has a Japanese data back. However, you'll also notice that it's missing the normal back. So this is probably going to be more in the garbage pile. But there's some value there. That data back is probably pretty rare. Uh, the Minolta Maxim 3XI. This is the one with the really stupid hot shoe uh, that Minolta tried to make happen. And everyone's like, please stop. It has also a very weirdly ergonomic feel to it. Um, but I don't even think these worked when they were supposed to. So again, I say garbage. I will say though, the condition of that one is much better than the rest of the lot. So that makes me happy. And then here we go. We got our first peek at something that's worthwhile. Minolta SRT 102 with the black top and it works. What a, what a treat, what a surprise. It does have a silver bottom, which is a little bit alarming and uh yeah it's missing it's missing some things it is missing some things i'll admit but overall it looks pretty okay so we'll put this in the uh where's the good pile i don't even have a good pot that's that is upsetting i've gone through one two three four five six eight cameras and i don't have a good pile yet so i'll put that in the good pile and good with a heavy asterisk uh back to the garbage we have a minolta 450 si fring bad uh s643 8302 st so self timer something or another this thing um i i'm okay if this doesn't work i'm not i was not holding my breath that that would be worthwhile i'm going to save that one i'm going to go on to the konica thing again uh fs1 i think i have one of these i don't care uh, if it works Fujika ST701, it's missing way too much stuff for this to be even valuable as parts, but it does have parts, so that's cool. Just garbage. Another Konica, because, you know, why have two when you could have three? So, garbage. So far, really enjoying this process. Uh, Canon EF. Uh, I believe I already have two of these that don't really work. So I have another one for parts, which is probably good. I'll put that in the uh, maybe pile. There is some value to it. And then, what the f is this? I hate this. I actually, actually really don't enjoy this at all. This is a ugh, Minolta 9000 AF with the worst worst advanced lever of all time and it has the program super back i really don't like the look of that and the feel of this it just feels so clunky like it just it, it literally feels like it came out of the 80s there's that episode of futurama where that like businessman gets dethaw and he's like from the 80s so like oh let's look at the stock that's what this feels like i feel like i just pulled out some relic like the encino man of this camera uh, box. So we'll put that in the, there are some parts of value there, I suppose. Now getting into the nitty gritty, and this is where I should be wearing gloves. We have, wow, wow, <laughs> this is, wow, this is scuffed. This is really scuffed. This is an OM-10 and it is torn to bits. There's like nothing really here at all. That's hilarious. I've never seen that. But cool, parts OM-10, that's semi-useful, I guess. Here we have a OM-2, which is also more scuffed than initially suspected. Light meter okay, 1096, water damage, manual and bulb okay. What have I done? This is one of the reasons I bought this was because I thought, hey, you know, OM2 is always like kind of good. The top looks like it got hit by a meteor. Apparently there's water damage. I'll put this in like the, the maybe pile. It has some form of value. I suppose the advanced lever at least looks okay. Oh, that's fun. I didn't even realize that there was one of these in here. This is a Minolta Vectis, I think it is, or Vetus. I think it's Vectis 300. This is a uh, kind of a quintessential Advantex. 
get out of there. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. It's haunted. <laughs> it's oh, a quintessential Advantex film. Oh, that's horrifying. I'm gonna keep that though, because that's kind of funny. Uh, terrible, terrifying, but kind of funny. Uh, another Konica. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do with it anyway. Konica FT1 is just whatever. Parts, not worth it. Uh, Nicromat. This is a Nicromat uh, FT. Pretty solid. These usually kind of work. This one is uh, already kind of thrown apart, so I'll have to inspect that later. But this is another one of the reasons I bought this because Nicromats sometimes are like pretty solid. And at the very least, always good to have parts of those things on hand. All right, we have four cameras left, and this is it. These are. These are the big ones. These are the reasons I was like, I saw this and I was like, that's why I want to buy it. So, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, let's just do this one first. This is actually disgusting. This is filthy. It's a Pentax K2. Um, why did I want to buy a Pentax K2? Because I don't think I've ever seen one. And at the very least, I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool to have on hand. Yeah. set it down i feel like again for the parts alone it's worthwhile so why not um next up we have the uh, fm2 uh oh this is disgusting i'm definitely gonna wash my hands after this but yeah nikon fm2 for the low low price of my soul um this has been kind of brutalized i'll be honest i do think i have a lot of the components that i need to make this work but you know if i could get a working fm2 for all the garbage i would say it's a pretty good trade-off let's put that in the uh the parts there and the last two the last two what is this there's like a part that's embedded in the box here it's a flash sync point thing anyway uh, this one, we'll, we'll go into first. Uh, it's an OM4. It's an OM4T. And, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, when I was, like, thinking, oh, I'll set this video up like it's a spooky time video, I was like, oh, that'd be kind of funny, LOL. Little did I know there'd be actual cobwebs inside the camera. This is... Um, so filthy that I need a shower. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm look me in the eyes here. I'm not joking. I am going to shower after handling this camera and I might take it in the shower with me just to hose it down more. This is disgusting, but it's an OM4. I've, I've been kind of wanting one just for kicks and giggles, but at what price, you know, at what, at what cost are we looking at here? I'm wearing gloves. That's how bad this OM4 is. Just this uh, buildup of sludge and grossness. Yeah, it's, it's a winning combination. And then if we look on the inside, we have a nice collection of spider webs, it looks like. Um, some previous occupants here. Whatever mold mildew is left on the curtain. So we'll put that in the... Uh, I almost want to put it, in, if it wasn't an OM4, I'd put it in the garbage. i just throw it away. But an OM4, that's kind of cool. It's just, I don't know, juice might not be worth the squeeze. And then finally, the big one. This is it. This is the reason. Finally got one. A Pentax LX. And as I look at it now, it says bad and parts, which leads me to think that this was a mistake entirely. And this is a waste of my time and my money and my sanity it smells horrific and i don't know if that's just the overwhelming scent of failure that is uh emitting from the box but yeah i got a pentax lx and it doesn't work and it probably will never work but i got one so we can talk about it now and that was why i did this video look the prism comes off i'm so cool yeah well, overall, I have to say, um, 
money terribly spent, but uh, that's nothing new here on this channel. So that's cool. I don't really know what the takeaway is here, to be honest. Like I'm, I'm I don't know why I do the things I do. Um, I don't really foresee myself doing this again because I think like all of the lessons that I needed to learn previous to this might not have been beaten into my cantaloupe thick skull. But I think after this, after the smells, after the, the sights and the horrors that I have witnessed, um, yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for a very long time. So mission accomplished. I, uh, I suppose I am excited about the Pentax LX, obviously like, you know, I'm not going to be that guy that's like, well, I can, I can change it. I can make it work, but maybe I can, who knows? I try to remain hopeful. It's the only thing that gets me through the day. So maybe that'll be something. If not an FM two, that's pretty great. Uh, K two for parts. That's pretty great. An SRT two Oh one. That's pretty good deal. Um, OM2 that's seen better days, and Nicromat that's seen better days. The OM10 is thrashed. The OM4, you know, give that a good cleaning over the course of the next five or six years, and it might become something that is of some modicum of value. Brought some more ghosts into my house, and this is, uh, this will just keep me entertained for hours now. Oh my god, it turned on. Does it actually, like, oh, ugh. Should not have done that. This smells so bad. I think I think everything just smells bad at this point. I think I smell bad. I think is the problem. I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna go shower. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry to have uh should not be doing that, but my nose really itched. Um yeah, thank you for joining me on this trip to financial and mental ruin. This has been a treat for me, as I'm sure it was for you. I really have nothing left to say other than uh, don't buy things. Just don't. Save your money. Invest in like a Roth IRA or or something like that. Um, I think that would probably help a lot more than, than accruing more garbage. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. And uh, catch you on the next one.